Hey guys, it's Bennett. I am here at the PSPCA for the Pet of the Week. Uh, there's Jillian right here. Hi, nice guys. to see you as always. Uh, let's do the Pet of the Week, brought to you by Heritage Premium Meats. <music> Stool. Oh, you want to be held like my cats like to be held? Just like this. Hey guys, this is Trooper, my PSPCA pet of the week. How cute is she? What's up, Trooper? You want a like, close up shot? Yeah. She's right now in foster care. Uh, here's her foster mom right here. What's your name? Eli. Eli? <laughs> and how's, how's Trooper doing uh, at home right now? She's doing amazing. Yeah? Yeah, she's a real sweet cat. She's good with other cats. And super friendly. She is super friendly. She has no idea who I am. I'm a complete stranger to her, but here she is. She has no problem being held. She is super sweet. And she's how old? About five. About five? What's up, pretty girl? And how long have you had her? Since August. Wow, okay. Yeah, a while. It's gonna be hard for you to give her up. It is, but <laughs> she definitely deserves a great home. Most definitely. So you can adopt Trooper. Look at her in all of her glory. She's just like, <laughs> look at that. She's posing for you. She's posing right here at 350 East Erie Avenue at the PSPCA location. And you, you can find out more about her too, right? At PSPCA.org. Hey. Hey. Hey guys, what is you new here? That's a familiar face. <laughs> How What's are happening, you? Jillian? Nothing's happening. Thanks so much for coming out and visiting our animals. As always. We have a lot of uh, great events coming up too to uh, support the PSPCA. I'm so excited for our trivia night. I know. It's always sunny in Philadelphia yes. coming up here on January 14th. Tuesday. It's always a great time. It's a great time. Eight dollars for tickets. We got some great um, drink specials too. I just got the menu yesterday. Really? Of course, if you watch, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> like you'll understand sense. them. Yeah. Something about Wade Boggs. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's something about beers and Wade Boggs. Cross country flight. I don't it's know. Alcohol I'm, watch, and it's I'm watching clips about it. You know, obviously, as we get the trivia questions ready. So yeah. come on Tuesday. It's a, oh my God! It's always it's always a fun night. <laughs> it's gonna be really fun. And all the ticket proceeds benefit the PSPCA. So if you can't open your house to a new animal at the moment, there's other ways you can help out the PSPCA by drinking and having a good time at trivia. Yeah, exactly. We've been doing this for over a year, the trivia nights, mm -hmm. and they're always a blast. We just get boozed up on a Tuesday. I know. And it's, raise just some really, money. it's just really a fun time. It does get competitive, but just it remember does. it's all for a good cause. And then I think in February we have another one coming up for, uh, what are we doing? Parks and Rec. Yeah, right? we're going to do Parks and Recreation in February. I believe it's February 11th, just in time for Galentine's Day, nice, which is a big thing on the show. Um, so I'm sure we'll have a great time then as well. And then who knows, maybe we can get some suggestions for some future topics. Yeah, we're down. We're open to that. Yeah. Um, if you're not into trivia, are there any other events you can help at the yeah, PSPC? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. This uh, coming weekend, we are, and the following weekend, we're going to be at the Philadelphia Home Show. Okay. So we have a feature there called the Barking Lot. There will be adoptable oh, uh, dogs there throughout the weekend, and then some pet vendors as well who are donating a portion of the proceeds back to us. And then I'm sure there will be things around town as you know we get back into the warmer weather, yes. um, way down the line, Papa Palooza with the Phillies and things like that. It's so, my favorite event of the year. I know, and we've got to love Papa Palooza. Morgan's got to get you the date the soon to make yes. sure you're going to be there Lock as our host. In, baby. Yes. Always have fun. So there's a lot of people do get gifts yeah. for the holidays that are pets, believe it or not. Right. We sometimes in the Pennsylvania SPCA don't recommend that you give a pet as a gift, but now you're thinking about you're in the new year, you know, maybe your family did in fact get a kitten or a puppy or something like that under yeah. the Christmas tree. What I would stress is a lot of patience at this time of year. Sure. Um, we do get an influx of animals at the shelter now because people are returning those animals that they received for the holidays because they decided, oh, you know, we can't take care of them. We don't have enough time. Um, of course, we're here for that. Mm. But I would also suggest to families to just maybe give it a little bit more time. Gotcha. Um, you know, puppies and kittens and animals in general, when you add them to your family, right. it takes a while for to them to settle every, in. To adjust everyone involved, yeah. Right. Your family life is going to change. Mm -hmm. Obviously the dog or cat is out of their situation too, whether it was a shelter or they're younger. Right. So they need time to adjust too. I mean, we always say at least three weeks adjustment period for the beginning, but it can take an animal up to three months to completely adjust 100%. to the home. So give it some time, hang in there. Yeah. Obviously the Pennsylvania SPCA is here as well for advice or things like that. And worst case scenario, if you have to give the animal up, make sure you go to a shelter or someone responsible who's going to take care of it. You can learn more about Trooper at PSPCA.org. And make sure to tune in next week to our PSPCA Pet of the Week, brought to you by Heritage Premium Meats. I told I told Colleen on the way over here, I was like, I may or may not bring a cat home. <laughs> I'm, it, may, it may happen. She is just...
really cute. 